Are you over 50 and looking for ways to help alleviate Ooh, back nice pain, thing. headache, neck pain, or even shoulder Ooh. discomfort? Well, look no farther because we actually have three stretches now. They're yoga stretches, but we have put a little twist on them into a therapist's world. And we're going to show you they will work and they're th stretches everyone can do. So when it comes to yoga poses, especially for people over the age of 50, it is important to choose wisely which poses you do because some will be very beneficial and some may be problematic for you. Right, and I think this is uh, very true, particularly if you have no experience with yoga in the past. That's why we're going to sift through these and give you the best uh, yoga exercises and do them the way we feel is the best so you're safe and you get the benefits of being pain free. So we're gonna go through three different gentle stretches you can do. We're gonna do the main version of them and we're also gonna do a modified version in case you can't get down on your hands and knees as easily as us. That's right. Now I think they're getting pretty anxious to see them. We've already cleared ourselves from the yoga group that are experts and we're, we're just gonna show them the way we think they're gonna work well. The first pose is the child's pose. So you're going to start in a all fours position like this. Now, if you have sensitive feet or your shins are kind of sensitive, Brad's going to give me a pillow here, and you could certainly put a pillow under there if you need it. You do not have to use one if you do not want to. Now, for the knee positions, if you go wider, it's a little easier for me and my feet in. Just go what position feels comfortable for your legs. And now I'm going to push down through my palms. And as I'm pushing down, I'm going to sit my buttock towards my heels. Go down as far as you can comfortably. Once you're down, you're going to hold this position for five breaths or so. And then you can come back up. Brad, do you want to describe what this is doing? Yes. Yeah, so let's go through this again as he's coming back. We're actually stretching the lat muscles here, the side muscles here, and the shoulder blades are actually rotating forward, which is very healthy for the shoulder blades. Unlocks the shoulders, gets a good stretch in here. Now, his head position is important. Look up once, Mike. You do not want to do that. We want to keep your head in a neutral position. So as we draw a line across here, it looks just like so. Okay, we also get a nice stretch in the back as well as in the hips. Make sure you're breathing and relaxing while you do this. It's absolutely critical for a healthy stretch. Now say if you have one side that is tighter than the other, so for camera purposes, we'll say my left side is. When you're going down, you can reach over to the other hand and then bend down, and I'm going to get more of a stretch on this side. Again, you can hold it for so many breaths or 30 seconds, whatever feels good for you. Now, actually, when I do this one, I will, I don't know if one side's tighter than the other, but it feels so good to do one side than the other. I just stretch both of them just for extra uh, stretching and uh, relaxation purposes. That's your choice. Okay, we are going to show you a second option for this stretch. If you're uncomfortable on your hands and knees, like Mike just demonstrated, in a chair with a table in front of you is an excellent way to do it more comfortably. So we have a towel here, because it'll slide a little easier on a tabletop than my hands will. So what you're going to do is push forward with your hands as I'm bringing my butt back in the chair. So I'm still getting that good stretch in my upper body. Obviously, your hips and knees aren't going to get as much of a stretch with this one. Your, your head's too low, Mike. My head's too right low. Right there, perfect. Okay, I'll bring it up a little bit. So I'm pushing through my palm to get a nice lat stretch. Again, if you want to bring one side over to the other, you can hold this for five breaths or so, and then come back up and relax and do this stretch periodically throughout the day. Right, very good. I, this is a nice option. The next pose is called the cat camel or cat cow, whatever one you like to pick. It's fine by me, just don't call me a cow. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna get in all fours again. And what you're gonna do is it's gonna move your spine a bit. So as I push my back up, my head goes down like this. This is called the cat pose. I'm gonna hold this for about three seconds. And then I'm gonna reverse, bring my back down, my tummy towards the mat, and lift my head up. This is called the cow or camel pose. So Brad, do you wanna show what it's doing yeah. to my spine? Right, so as he arches up into that, that cat or the, the hump look, this is what's happening to the spine. Everything is flexing, opening up the facet joints, which is very helpful, and relax as you do this. The head goes down, so we do get the cervical or the neck part of the spine. Now do the other direction. And this is to be done slowly, not quickly. 
and you don't have to push up as hard as you can in either direction. Whoa, almost broke the spine. There we go. And when they get the arch, or we call this extension. So relax, breathe. Again, don't push up really hard. Just go till it feels comfortable to the end, and then go the opposite direction. Breathing, breathing. Are you breathing, Mike? I am breathing, believe I, it or not. I'm I, a I, nose breather, though. <laughs> <laughs> so it is recommended to do seven to eight repetitions each direction. Hold each for three seconds. And this is brought to you by Dr. Stuart McGill, who is a spinal expert. That's right. Okay, a modified version for people who aren't comfortable going on their hands and knees. Go up to a countertop. A higher bed may work. And you're going to put your hands here. Bring your feet back, about two feet back. A shoulder width apart so you have a good stable base so you can relax with this. And then you round the back up. The head goes down. Hold. Breathe. Did I mention the breathe before? I think so. And then go back like this. Any uh, input, Mike, do you have for this? This is going to not hit your legs as much or your buttock region, but it's a good variation. You're still getting that spinal flexion extension range of motion, which is the emphasis of this exercise. And just take it slow and gentle. If it hurts, don't do it. That's right. And I do want to, I talked about breathing, but how you breathe. So when I go this way, I breathe out. I breathe out, exhale. When I go in this way, I breathe in, inhale. So you actually get a pattern of breathing that goes with the motion of your body. And that takes a little practice. Work with it. You'll know exactly what I mean. The last pose is the downward dog it is known as. Now, this is pretty challenging for people as they age. We'll show you what it is originally. But we're going to show you a version you could do standing while using a chair. So in order to perform this, you have to push through your hands, and you're going to kind of lift your buttock towards the sky. Oh. So it's going to stretch my hamstrings a lot, my calf muscles. And the more you push with your shoulders, you're going to get a good stretch there as well. What about your back? Are you round it or you arch it? You want to kind of keep it flat. You don't want to be too rounded. I don't know if I can round like this or too extended. Just kind of a nice flat back. And your hamstrings will let you know when it's tight enough. But we're going to show you a variation that's going to be a little safer and a little easier. So the variation, you'd probably want to use a countertop if you have a very sturdy chair, unlike this one. You can use a chair, just make sure it doesn't tip back on you. So what you're going to do is push down through your palms as you walk your feet backwards. Now you're going to get to a point, if you can tolerate, where I'm going to have a nice flat back here, and I really feel this in my hamstrings. Do you want to tell them what I'm stretching out here, Brad? Right, so the hamstrings, it's from the uh, ischial tuberosities, or the butt here, and they actually cross the knees. So if you keep your knees straight, you're going to get a more aggressive hamstring stretch. If your heels are flat on the floor like Mike's are, that is going to accelerate or make the calf muscles stretch more. So if it's too tight, you can bend your knees and bring your heels off a little bit. Now Mike's exaggerating there, but actually that may not be with tighter people. Uh, so again, the goal is to get it straight and down, but you may not to start out with, and that's okay. How long are you going to hold a stretch for, Mike? I'm going to breathe here for eight different breaths and then come back up. You can walk your feet forward. Now, this is also getting a nice pec stretch as I'm going down, too, and it's rotating my shoulder blades up in the correct position, right. so it's a good shoulder stretch as well. Just make sure you feel safe with this. You don't want to feel unsteady, and you don't have to go back as far as I do. Just... Do yeah, you feel start out doing. at a beginner. You may just go that far. Shoes or something that grip, grips to the floor is important. You don't want to have socks on on a shiny floor so your feet potentially slip. Solid base is important. Just make sure you have a flat back. Some people may only be able to get to this position. Then that's okay. Then Actually, I would expect some of these older people, that's where they're going to start, and that's a great place. All right, so we showed three stretches. Try all three of them. You may not want to do all three if they don't feel comfortable. Only do them if they feel like good stretches. Don't be too aggressive and enjoy it. I'm sure you're going to find at least one that's going to make your life better. And if you found the cat camel, uh, <laughs> I can't lose all saying. Start over. Sorry, I screwed it all up. Jesus. Just my part or his? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's the three stretches we showed. Go through all of them. Pick the ones that you like best. There only may maybe be one. Be, 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 be. Now, yeah, you're... <laughs> we'll get it right one of these times. 
All right, so those are the three, three stretches. Try all three. Pick out the ones, or maybe only the one that you like. They should feel good while you do them and afterwards. And we talked about Stuart McGill a little bit. If you want to check out more information about him, Bob did a podcast with him quite a while ago. We'll link it down in the first comment below if you want to check that out. And, Bob, what else do you have to say to them? Cut. Cut.